recording. Rolling. Hi. Hey. You look, you look good. Really good. How do I look? Ladies first. All right. You and me and then you? Or you yeah. Uh, I'm Gabby Conti. And I'm Madeline Byrne. And I'm Tony Morris. And you guys are watching the Hollywire Vlogs. The Vlogs. The Vlogs. The vlogs. The vlogs. We're going to bring you the weirdest stuff on the internet. Weird. Okay. Strange. We also are going to tell you all about that juicy relationship gossip. Yes. And we're going to tell you what is trending and who is trending on Hollywire. Hashtag Madeline Byrne party. What's happening? Let's just kick it off right now with the weirdest and the strangest things right now on the internet. This is weird. Imagine being seven years old and making $22 million a year. What would you spend it on? Ryan, whose YouTube channel is Ryan's Boys Review. He's seven years old, he's a first grader, and he loves trains, he loves cars, giggles over his Disney characters. I giggle. <laughs> Builds civilizations in his room just out of Lego. But except when he plays, he does it in front of a camera, okay? And these videos are uploaded by like his parents or his managers to his YouTube channel. And they are seen by millions of people. Yeah, and these videos, they're they are short, they're really simple. It just has Ryan, and he ends up being one of the most popular influencers online. Get this, he has 17.3 million followers and a total of nearly 26 billion, 26 billion views. What? His parents launched this channel, oh, see, in March in 2015. He not only has an endless amount of toys to play with, he is balling. Mm. Endless amount of money. Endless amount of toys. Endless amount of money. Toy money. He is balling. Throwing cash out the window. Mm. He was this year's highest paid YouTube star, earning $22 million in the past 12 months. In 12 months. In 12 months. I'm entertaining and I'm funny. He recently said in an NBC interview, okay, but I'm entertaining and funny, <laughs> uh, which explains why he's so popular and he is now a mini millionaire. He announced that he was going to repackage the content and distribute it on Hulu and Amazon. Binge it. Again. Again. And, Again. Then, and then buy the toys. And in August, he launched Ryan's World, which is a toy apparel company and it's sold exclusively at Walmart. Yeah, well, he promotes it on his YouTube channel. He sells slime, putty, Ryan action figures. I have an action figure. I have an action figure. Okay, but you're the not action seven. figure. That was a Power Ranger. I have an action figure. Oh my God, oh yes, we heard. When yes. Were young. Cool, cool, yep. cool. So you know what happens tomorrow if Ryan all of a sudden wakes up as seven-year-olds do and decides that he no longer wants to do this. He doesn't want to be famous. He doesn't want to be famous. He can't take the limelight. He just wants guy. to be a normal seven-year-old. He has enough money to but last who 100 cares? Who cares? Lifetime. He's got that Justin Bieber money. He can I know. Retire at eight if He's he got that to. Vine money, let's mm. be real. But I'm going to call Ryan. Anyone have his phone number? Yeah. He'll be ready for you in yeah. 15 years. Mm. Okay, guys, you have a dog, right? How much do you love your dog? A lot, right? Do you love it so much that you throw it birthday parties? Do you love it that much that you throw them this big, elaborate birthday party? You guys all know Sofia Vergara from Modern Family. <laughs> she threw her son's dog, Baguette. A five-year-old chihuahua, like a super sweet 16-worthy birthday. Hey, I was born into the wrong family. Like, why am I not being thrown, like, not being thrown, like, not being thrown, like. According to Instagram, the celebration kicked off by making it rain on the dog. <laughs> being thrown, like. Yeah. Make it rain on the dog. $5,000 in, in cash. Good morning. Here's some cash. The dog probably peed on it. And then the dog got a layered cake, and inside the cake, there is a cake sculpture of the dog coming out of the cake. It's like very weird. It looks like a birthing cake. That. It's a very bizarre thing. The birthday girl, she actually looked very pretty in pink and pearls. Uh, sadly, unlike a super sweet 16, this pup did not end her birthday celebration with the G Wagon. Ooh, blue freaking who? The dog really deserves this G Wagon, but it has $5,000 and a ton of presents. What is a dog gonna do with $5,000? We're in LA, and I know this is a very sensitive question for people in Los Angeles. I know we love our dogs, but is it possible we love them a little a little too much? Do you love Linus a little too much? I love Linus, but not as much as Sofia Vergara likes her son's five-year-old chihuahua. What kind of dog is uh, Linus? He's a golden retriever chihuahua mix. He's Aww. cute, go follow him at Linus Lately. He has an Instagram? Yeah, at Linus Lately. How many followers does he have? I don't know, we don't talk about it. God, this is juicy. This is we, really juicy. We saved the juicy stuff okay, for oh. right now. Okay, what up, single ladies? How much am I worth? We're moving around. Two it's days not gonna ago. work. No, we're we back to the window light behind us. Yeah, everything. I was able to yeah. see myself the whole time. How much is your boyfriend worth? If it was my ex, I'd say nothing. But if you're talking about your celebrity crush, How much maybe. Is your boyfriend worth? Um, priceless, baby. But if you're single, <laughs> it's okay, because how much is your celebrity crush worth? But if you're Katy Perry and your boyfriend is Orlando Bloom, apparently you're looking at a cool $50,000. $50,000? <laughs> what? 
How much would you pay, if you don't have one, how much would you pay to go on a date with your celebrity Who's crush? Who's your celeb, my celeb crush? We have the same one. We have the same one. One, it's, two, it's John, John Mayer. Mayer. I would pay so much. So much money. I, I, don't I mean, I think it. I pay to go see him in concert. That's a date, right? I'm a straight right? man. I thought that so, was a date. I would pay to go see Megan Fox. Ooh la la. So Katy Perry outbid a fan by thousands of dollars to go on a date with her longtime on-again, off-again beau, Orlando Blue. The actor was auctioned off at One Love Malibu, benefiting those affected by the devastating California wildfires. And during this event, Katy learned exactly what would take place on this date with this fan, and she was not having it. Uh, yes. She wants it. It was planned that the fan would go on a motorcycle ride with Bloom. Mm. It would just end up at lunch at this like destination somewhere oh, off the Nobu. coast of yeah, Nobu, like or so much cave. sushi. This fan would get to hold on to Orlando's chiseled pecs and abs <laughs> during the motorcycle Is ride. He ripped? <laughs> I haven't seen him in a I while. I haven't seen him in a while. Remember he was like on a board naked? Remember that Let's, was a we'll thing? Google, we'll Google that. It'll yeah. pop up. He said that the lucky auction winner would also get to stare into Orlando's beautiful deep brown eyes, which are pretty dreamy. Ooh. And the fan, they said that was worth twenty thousand dollars. Katy Perry was not having that. No, uh uh. But I am not excited about. I think that's stop. Called... She was not having no, that. No, 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 no. 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 So totally marked her territory. Mm -hmm. There it was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna one up your twenty grand and pay you fifty. Yeah. So oh, not only did yeah. she double it, she then added an extra ten grand because she's Katy Perry. You know, Katy also performed Roar. She performed Fireworks. She performed By Grace of God. The festival was also super star studded. Robin Thicke was there. Gwen Stefani was there. Katy and Orlando first begun their romance in 2016 when they were uh, showing some major PDA at the Golden Globes after party. The two split after the two were dating, but then they were seen back together just a few months later. Oh my gosh. And just confirmed. On again, off, off again, on again, off again. I can't. But I'm not going to throw this. 50 grand at a guy that I'm on again, off again. I mean, he's the guy who got away, but then didn't because she paid $50,000. I mean, these two now are closer than ever. They're even talking about getting engaged, but <gasps> that money could go to a really nice ring. Maybe I mean, so will we're on this date. Will Lord of the Rings get down one knee on the $50,000 date? And will he spend another $50,000 on a ring? Honestly, you could pay me $20, I'd go on a date. We're Weirder things have been done. Yeah. Close the door. He's really loud. You can, can go close the door. Business. Yeah, we can go right here. I'm not a new boyfriend. Didn't cost her fifty thousand dollars, guys. We're sticking to this whole juicy relationship concept yeah. here. Okay, so we gotta talk about Privanka Chopra and Nick Jonas' wedding because we just can't escape it. It's, it's literally everywhere. everywhere. It's everywhere, oh, guys. Sorry, if you me. haven't been living under a rock these past couple months, former teen heartthrob Nick Jonas, he got together with Priyanka Chopra. I have problems always yeah, pronouncing I mean, her name. Priyanka Chopra. 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 There's no R. Chopra. Chopra. There's an R. What? Chopra. 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 Thank you. Well, Thank you. Weds and their wedding looks like straight out of a fairy. Yeah. Fairy tale. I mean, some even might call it the event of the century, but also the royal wedding was this century, so I don't know if we can call it that. I don't know. I'm more into them because I was like a big fan of the Jonas Brothers. Oh, yes, Camp yes. Rock still living for it. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, we are pretty disappointed that you couldn't stream this live at home because it would be nice, or if we got a personal invite to this wedding. Yeah, that would have been cool. Not bitter. They just invited us, you know. Bit. Yeah. Okay, so the reception took 12,000 hours to create. Tears were shed. The, the traditional wedding took place in India. They went to India. And they were surrounded by friends and family. And it took place. Where? Where? In a palace. And how, how, how many, many rooms? rooms? I heard, I heard, I'm not sure, but 300 rooms. One for each oh, Jonas Brothers. Three. The couple kicked off their wedding celebrations a week prior to the actual ceremony, all according to Indian, Indian tradition. Nick's dad led the ceremony, and it has been said that he was left in tears because Priyanka looked such a vision, and all of the Jonas Brothers. All of them? Even Frankie. Even, Frankie. Frankie. Yep. Shout out. We might need out. to check back that Frankie's No, it is. is. I was a big fan. Okay, yeah, there's she would know. Joe, would Nick, know and Kevin, back -check Frankie. Shout out. There's also Dwayne The Rock Johnson was in it because he was Name drop. Yeah, just, just keep it Shania, up there. Shania Twain was there. Yep. The two were first linked back in 2016 where Nick Jonas slid into Priyanka's Twitter DM. And the two actually didn't meet for another year. The rest is history. Yep. Shout out. Hey guys, okay, so here is who is trending on Hollywire. Bad Baby recently talked to us about her relationship with X who recently passed away from a shooting. Here it is. X was a very, very protective person. Like if like he, if he had found out I was like conversating with a guy and he was like, bro, he don't care about you, bro. Stop talking to him. I was like, bro, I haven't even like talked to him for a week yet. I just started 
to have a normal conversation and you're just like mad at me because I'm talking. <laughs> but it was more like, you know, brother didn't want he was, to talk to somebody. Right. That's really what it was. He was looking at just really overprotective. Overprotective? Yeah. That's a good guy to have around, you know? Another person we love here at Hollywire is Dylan Sprouse. Did anyone else have like a huge crush on Dylan Sprouse growing up? Just me? No? Okay. Well, recently he shared with us his favorite go-to kissing techniques, and apparently it has something to do with biting noses. No idea what that means, but watch it here. We taught Dylan how to make out. You yeah. taught Dylan how to make out? Yes. What did they tell you on how to make out? What were the uh, pointers? <coughs> well, well tell me use about your it. lips. That was the big one. Mm. Um, well, that's quite... Yeah. That is, in fact, a great, uh, a great tip. Floss. <laughs> yeah. Floss. Uh, please stop biting me and screaming at me. That was the other thing. Wait, you biting or they're, they're biting? Yeah, you, well, I was oh, so, so bite. afraid that okay. I would just scream. We're getting somewhere ah! here. <laughs> um, and so, I, uh, no, they didn't actually teach me how to make out. Um, okay, guys, if you didn't guess, my online girlfriend taught me how to do that. <laughs> That's usually how it goes. I go on Craigslist to find the information. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you can find a lot of good shit in the free stuff section of mm -hmm. Craigslist. Oh Holly Wire, guess who is also trending? DJ Khaled. You speak out of the crowd, maybe it's a no brainer. It ain't the hard it shoots. Have you guys ever wanted to design your own Air Jordans? Well, you know what? DJ Khaled gave us his special cloth and he showed us his exclusive Air Jordans. Dudes, I'm excited, man. Father of Asad threes, another one threes. We out here hustling, you know what I'm saying? Out here hustling. Last time we hung out, you had the pink Jordans on. Yeah. You still got those pink so, Jordans? Yeah, those are Don C's. I'm um, shouting to Don C. Those were incredible. Those were incredible. Okay, so tell me what your inspiration, I, I mean, how did you put this together? Give, give us the lowdown. I've been working on these Jordans since December last year. And um, I got with Reggie and the Jumpman team and, you know, it was time, you know what I'm saying? It takes time to plan things like this, but as far as this event and the way I wanted to reveal it to the fans and the press, it was just like a week ago, two weeks ago, I was like, yo, this is not posted on Instagram. This, let them feel it, let them touch it, let them see it, and let them hear from me. Um, and, and the people that was involved, you know what I mean? Just give them, give them a great presentation. The people deserve it, you know what I mean? Guys, thank you so much for watching the Hollywire vlogs. Yeah, we couldn't do it without you. We'd be talking to ourselves otherwise. <laughs> Make sure to follow us on Instagram. Yeah, follow us, like us. Bye. 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 Bye.